Hi, this is Andrew Grease from Quality Equipment and SprayQspray.com. Today we're going to talk about landscape power sprayers and why it's so critical to keep them clean. We've got some great photos of other equipment and hopefully you'll learn from some of these photos how to avoid some of these problems of downtime, chemical spills, exposure, missed appointments, etc. And so let's get started. Here's the first photo. Here is a technician who used his company's vehicle. This is the passenger side compartment. He just used it as a trash can. Is this an equipment problem? No, but any tech that would do this to your vehicle is probably mistreating your equipment. So this is a warning sign that you need to really do some inspections. Okay, here's a landscape sprayer. You can see it's covered in orange, which is the pre-emergent. This needs to be cleaned up. This is just terrible. Here's a worse example. You can see the, the pre-emergent is spilled all over this tank, and you can see from the different colors here that it's been spilling for quite some time. This is a risk to the employee. It's sending a really bad message about your company, and certainly no one from the company is inspecting this equipment. Really terrible. Here's the hose reel roller guides. You can see that the roller guides are covered in chemical, which means the hose, the hose is covered in chemical. Just a really bad idea. Here's a filter that was just totally clogged with pre-emergent, and this has all kinds of downstream problems. You'll see here that the pre-emergent is starting to clog this valve. Here it's starting to clog a fitting, and what's going to happen is eventually it's going to clog your spray gun tips or it's going to starve your pump. And actually, here's an example. The filter and the lines were so clogged that it starved the pump of water, and this diaphragm burst. You can see that it's hard to see, but there's a split in the diaphragm. If you catch this quick enough, it's just replacing the diaphragms. If you don't catch it quick enough, you have to replace the entire pump. So this can be a really expensive problem. Here's a pump that was just totally clogged up. You're going to break something if you let it get this clogged. you got to clean out your equipment. You can't let it get this bad. Here's a, a fitting that was just totally starting to clog with chemical. I don't know if this is fertilizer or this is a pre-emergent with, with a dye in it, but uh, this I call this the McDonald's photo. This is my arteries after eating cheeseburgers from McDonald's for a couple of years. Think about how much harder your pump has to work sucking through this kind of fitting. Someone brought in a sprayer, said it didn't spray. We started looking through hoses and fittings and found just totally gunked up uh, this looks like dirt or mud or something that was just clogged in the lines think about how much t downtime you have with this and how hard your pump has to work fertilizer can be really tough on equipment here's a pickup tube that's clogged with with fertilizer this is the worst example we've ever seen here's another pickup tube totally clogged with fertilizer this came out of this sprayer and this is fertilizer that is just becomes sediment at the bottom of the tank. It's about six or seven inches thick and totally clogged the entire system. We had to cut the tank apart. The pump was a total loss. Most of the plumbing was a total loss. Here's the, some of the fittings from that sprayer, and you can see that the pump was trying to suck through you know, totally solid fertilizer. So this was a really, really expensive problem for this company. Don't let this happen to you. Make sure you're training your techs to clean, your, clean the equipment regularly. You want to run clean water through your sprayers to prevent this from happening. You want to totally empty your tank and inspect it for debris. And you want to make sure your techs are doing what you want them to do. Make sure they're cleaning your equipment so you don't have these kinds of problems. When you do need a landscape power sprayer or any landscape spray equipment, please think of QSpray.com. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.